Hello class, let us today discuss the new chapter that is lesson number 5 that is Warriors of Mysore. Today we are simply going to study about so many warriors of Mysore. Among that first let us know important warriors of Mysore in which we are going to study about Chikka Devaraya who has ruled from 1673 to 1704 CE. Soon after that we are going to study about Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. First about Hyder Ali who has ruled from 1761 to 1782 CE. We are going to study about the battles with British which Hyder Ali has fought. And then we are going to study about achievements of Hyder Ali. Soon after that we are going to study about Tipu Sultan that is from 1782 to 1799 CE. And also we are going to study about the personality and achievements of Tipu. So let us now begin with the lesson. What they have given is the warriors of Mysuru, Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan are introduced. See here in this chapter we are going to study about warriors of Mysuru. We are going to study about Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. Important warrior rulers, rulers like Krishna Raja warrior 4 and others are introduced. Like important warriors, for one name they have given that is Krishna Raja warrior 4 and others are introduced here in this lesson. The important divans are introduced. Means those important treasurer officers about them also is introduced in this lesson. Now let us begin this lesson. Okay. What it is the important warriors of Mysuru. Yaduraya was the first king of Mysuru warriors that is from 1399 to 1423 CE. See who was the first king of Mysuru warriors? Yaduraya, he was the first king of Mysuru warriors. Gandabherunda was the emblem of the state. So, what was the emblem of the state? It was Gandabherunda, it was the emblem of this particular state. Sri Rangapatna was their first capital. The first capital of Mysuru warrior was Sri Rangapatna. Now we are going to study about Chikka Devaraya who has ruled from 1673 to 1704 CE. Chikka Devaraya is the prominent king of early kings. See, Chikka Devaraya, he is the most famous king, prominent in the sense famous among many of the earlier kings. He implemented many pro-people measures means he implemented, he followed measures for the sake of people. He opened Atara Kacheri with 18 departments. What he has opened? Atara Kacheri with how many departments? With total 18 departments. He built a dam across the western stream of river Kaveri near Sri Rangapatana and provided irrigation facility. See, Chikka Devaraya, what he did, he constructed a dam across which stream? Across the western stream of river Kaveri. Near which place? Near Sri Rangapatna. For what purpose he built this dam? dam? So that it is going to help for the sake of irrigation. It is going to provide some what irrigation facility. He introduced thrift in his administration and enriched the treasury and was conferred with Navakoti Narayana title. See, he introduced thrift. Thrift in the sense what? He introduced the smart usage of money. He introduced the quality usage of money so that it can be saved. Not only money but also quality using of his treasure 
by applying this thrift what happened he saved lot of money and lot of treasure was also saved that is why chikadevaraya he was he got a title called navakoti narayana because of this thrift next mysuru state was prosperous during the region of chikadevaraya si mysuru state it was prosperous it was a happy during the rule of chikadevaraya but the later kings were weak si who those all kings who came after chikadevaraya they were weak the administration was overseen by dalavoys what happened because the kings were weak the administration was taken over by dalavoys who ruled in the names of kings these dalavoys they started ruling in the name of kings now let us know about see attara kacheri of mysore we can see that here in the poster next now we are going to study about hyder ali and tipu sultan hyder ali he has ruled from 1761 to 1782 ce hyder ali was an eminent commander in dalwai nanjarajas nanjarajayas army who was actually hyder ali he was eminent commander eminent in the sense he was a very famous commander he was a very respected commander in under which dalwai under nanja rajayas army he was brave and adventurous sikh tipu sultan sorry hyder ali he was brave as well as he was adventurous he won many battles and accumulated army and wealth because he was brave and adventurous hyder ali what he has done he has won many battles and also after winning the battles he has collected lot of army and wealth this made him gain respect from the king because of his bravery because he used to win almost all the battles that is why he was he gained very much respect from the king when there was a revolt in the capital city hyder ali suppressed it and restored the kingship of krishna raja wadiyar and removed the dalwai and took over the administration see there was some violation there was some uh, violent actions going inside the capital city at that time what hyder ali did he stopped that violent actions he stopped that cruel actions or might be any war and all and what he did he made krishna raja wadiyar as the king and he removed the dalwai and he took the administration soon after taking over the administration he engaged in extending the borders of the state once he took over the administration from dalwai what he started doing hyder ali he started taking over the administration and started expanding the border of this mysore state he defeated the keladi ruler and confiscated their wealth and improved his financial status see hyder ali he defeated the keladi ruler and after defeating him what he did he just took take took off all the wealth and improved the financial status he also took over the chitradurga fort with a lot of difficulty with repeated try and with lots of difficulty hyder ali what he did he took over this chitradurga fort next comes about the battles with british hyder ali has fought many battles with british now let us study that the british came for business and gradually became powerful in politics we all know that britishers they initially came for what purpose they came for the purpose of business but what happened gradually as time went on they became more powerful in politics the british did not tolerate the expansion of mysore kingdom in the south of by hyder ali as hyder ali he was expanding the mysore state on the south these britishers did not like this expansion made by hyder ali 
this led to an inevitable clash between hyder ali and british what happened because of the continuous expansion there was an unavoidable clashes between hyder ali and britishers the four battles waged by hyder ali and later by his son tipu sultan against british are called anglo mysore wars or mysore wars see there are four wars fought against britishers by hyder ali and later by his son tipu sultan they are called as anglo mysore wars or they are simply called as mysore wars In the first Anglo-Mysore War the British suffered considerable loss after the first Anglo-Mysore War Britishers they got a lot of losses they suffered from losses hence they had to sign Madras Treaty with Hyder Ali inevitably since they suffered a lot of loss Britishers they were supposed to sign a treaty that is a madras treaty treaty with hyder ali and because they have losses it that avoiding that uh, treaty was not possible it was unavoidable as per the treaty both the parties rush to each others rescue if attacked by enemy this elevated the status of hyder ali what was that madras treaty okay britishers and there was a first anglo mysore war britishers suffered from lot of losses and that is why this madras treaty was signed but what was this madras treaty what it actually stated it stated that if britishers suffered problem from enemies hyder ali was supposed to help them the same way when if hyder ali the if his states were attacked by enemies the britishers were supposed to come and support them this was the treaty signed by signing this treaty hyder ali was this elevated the status of hyder ali means the status of hyder ali was higher the status became much more improved a few years later marathas attacked mysore kingdom then the britishers did not come to the aid of hyder ali and remained neutral see after signing the treaty after a few years what happened actually my these marathas they attacked mysore kingdom but according to the this madras treaty britishers were supposed to come and support for the mysore state right but they did not come they stood neutral they did not help the mysore kingdom this enraged hyder ali and he invaded british this made hyder ali to get lot of anger on them and he again attacked on the britishers this is the second anglo mysore war this attack when the the hyder ali did on britishers that is called as second anglo mysore war hyder ali died while fighting this war the battle was continued by tipu sultan singh during this second anglo mysore war hyder ali died this battle was further continued by his son tipu sultan achievements of hyder ali hyder ali was aware of contemporary politics though he was an illiterate he knew many languages including kannada si hyder ali he was aware of all the things running in the politics politics actually hyder ali he was illiterate he was not able to read and write but still he knew many languages including kannada he extended the kingdom of mysore considerably slowly and gradually he started increasing the mysore kingdom extending the kingdom he was a brave soldier and an efficient administrator see hyder ali he was not only a brave soldier but he was also an eminent a successful administrator hyder ali has an important place in the annals of karnataka history because of the battles because of the achievements hyder ali has done he has an important place in the records of karnataka history 
he established the beautiful lal bagh garden in bengaluru hyder ali what he has done he has established a beautiful lal bagh garden in bengaluru now let us know about tipu sultan who has ruled from 1782 to 1799 ce tipu sultan tipu sultan was the son of hyder ali tipu participated in his father's battles actively and emerged as winners and winner and declared himself as the sultan see tipu sultan who is he he is a son of hyder ali what he did he participated whenever hyder ali used to go for battles he participated with his father's battles very much actively and whenever he go he, they got an winner whenever they won he declared himself as the sultan that is tipu he declared himself as sultan tipu led the second anglo mysore war when his father hyder ali died in the battle due to illness tipu what he did actually he continued this second anglo mysore war why he continued because in the battle itself his father hyder ali died because of illness after the death of his father he continued the anglo mysore wars tipu sultan what he did even after the death of hyder ali he continued this anglo mysore wars nobody came to help him he fought against britishers bravely nobody were in support of tipu sultan he fought alone against the britishers that too very bravely at last the british signed the treaty of mangaluru this treaty was beneficial for both parties see at last what happened these britishers they signed the treaty of mangaluru the treaty was beneficial for both of them that is for tipu sultan as well as for the britishers both the parties returned their captured areas and exchanged the prisoners of war what they did that is both britishers and tipu sultan they both parties they gave back their areas which they had occupied which they had captured and left the prisoners for both of them this treaty increased the statute of tipu this treaty increased the state status of tipu in a very short duration another two battles took place between tipu and britishers in a very short period of time there were two more battles between britishers and tipu the mutual hatred and disbelief was the main reason for this what was the main reason for the two board battles among in between T british and tipu sultan that is because of their mutual hating because of their mutual misunderstanding the other two battles were taken place in the third anglo mysore war the britishers lay siege to the capital city of tipu sri rangapatna without any alternative tipu had to sign a peace treaty with the british see in the third anglo mysore war britishers they took over this capital of tipu that is sri rangapatna without any option tipu signed the tri peace treaty with the british as per the peace treaty tipu had to surrender half of his kingdom to the british and had to pay 330 lakh as compensation see what was that peace treaty the peace treaty said that tipu he has to give half of his state which all he has conquered to britishers and also he was supposed to pay 330 lakh as compensation until the compensation is cleared two sons of tipu were taken as hostages see until all the compensation was cleared britishers took two sons of tipu sultan as hostages they were been kept until tipu was supposed to return the and give the entire money this treaty made tipu feel disgraced he decided to throw the british out of india this made tipu because his both of the sons were under their hostages 
this made tipu very much disgraced very much angered that is why what he did he decided to do one more war and throw the britishers out of india the fourth anglo mysore war started again shirangapatna was under siege tipu fought valiantly and died in the battlefield see what happened again shirangapatna it was it came under the britishers still tipu fought very bravely and he died in the battlefield itself tipu sultan is known as tiger of mysore next after the fall of tipu sultan mysore came under the rule of british once tipu sultan died what happened this mysore it came under the rule of british they handed over the administration to krishna raja wadayar 3 so once it came under the rule of british what these britishers did they handed over the administration to whom they handed over the administration to krishna raja wadayar 3 but mysore became the dependent state of the british in spite of handing it over to krishna raja wadayar 3 it become a dependent state dependent on whom dependent on these britishers now let us study about the personality and achievements of tipu tipu was aware of the latest achievements in science and technology see tipu he was very much aware he was conscious about the improvements in both science and technology he had a very good library tipu what he did he had a very good library he built bengaluru palace and summer palace in shrirangapatna called as darya daulat see tipu what he has done he has built this bengaluru palace we can see the poster here in the textbook and he also built summer palace in shrirangapatna and it is called as what it is called as darya daulat we can see here in the textbook see summer palace the built in shrirangapatna it is called as darya daulat the image is given here in the textbook the walls pillars and the roof of the summer palace are painted with paintings depicting historical incidents see how all the walls and roof and pillars of that summer palace it explains it depicts the historical incidents once you see the pillars we get historical knowledge like that those roofs of of roofs walls and pillars of summer palace are painted next let us know up tipu put a lot of efforts to enrich his kingdom all the time tipu put his constant efforts to enrich his kingdom he popularized sericulture in the state what he did he started popularizing sericulture in the state he modernized his army with the help of a french see what tipu did he started modernizing his army with the help of whom with the help of french he molded guns in shrirangapatna mastering the technique of launching rockets was his uniqueness see what all achievements he did he molded guns even in shrirangapatna and also he got the mastering in technique of what in the technique of launching rockets that was the uniqueness of tipu sultan tipu sanctioned grants to many hindu temples and he gave gifts to shringeri math see tipu he was okay with all the religions he sanctioned grants for many hindu temples and he has also given gift to shringeri math he brought many changes in the field of sericulture and helped farmers by giving loans which could be repaid in easy installments see what happened he not only learned for himself he not he was not only very good unique technique of launching rockets but what he has done he has brought many changes in this field of sericulture he gave loans for the farmers for the purpose of farming 
and he gave them an option of easy returning in the form of installment when the farmers were allowed to pay back the money in the form of installments the tomb of haider ali and the juma masjid were great constructions finished by tipu which were the two beautiful and great constructions made by tipu they are the tomb of haider ali and the juma masjid the mine minor arts of the masjid are known for their beauty the whatever these minor arts we found in this juma masjid they are specially known for the beauty he established royal mints at sri rangapatna and mysore see what tipu sultan did he established royal mints at sri rangapatna and mysore